Hey guys, Andy here. So I think it's quite an interesting year for phones. The mid-range battle has really heated up with things like the Poco X2 Pro, the OnePlus Nord, and now the Pixel 4a. Um, obviously it's the 4a that we're taking a look at today, but I'm a little bit confused because normally I might hold up the phone box or something, but this, this is the box that's been delivered. It says Team Pixel on the front. But it seems like one massive big box with a small box in. I just thought it was quite interesting. Anyway, let's have a look what's inside. That is quite fun. And on the end of the... Okay. So that's a little bit different. We've got a helium balloon with a Pixel 4a on the end of it. Here we are, here's the actual phone with a uh, Celebrate 22, so Google is 22 years old. There's a sale on today. I mean, by the time I publish this video, it's gonna be tomorrow. So that's no use information, that's stuck on pretty solid. Right. The Google battery stretcher, for his adaptive battery. The Google multitask enabler, with all the commands and then the star catcher, okay? Can you have that just behind me? I think so. So let's see what we got here. I think Google are doing a good job these days with their, uh, their unboxing experiences. They've obviously got some sort of branding that we see on the box and there, oh, the, the, uh, the camera square is actually very small. There's the device, feels a good size. Where's my Pixel 4? Oh, they're very similar. Almost identical size, in fact, which is nice. I like the small smallness. What else do we have in here? So the SIM eject tool. Kind of warranty info and quick start guide, I guess, how to, yeah, I'm not too, I'm gonna worry about that at the minute. And the charger with a dongle, type C to type C. All right, that's all good, but not really much to see in the box itself. So clearly, clearly this is black. Oh, that screen's not particularly white, is a first thought. It's got a slight it's a bit cold. Um, frosted back, fingerprint sensor in the middle. As I say, it's actually a very small, so it's like one lens, I think, yeah. One lens and a flash, it's a very small square. The G looks like the speaker at the bottom there, type C connector, SIM tray there, volume rocker and power button. Kind of the opposite way around to, to a lot of devices do. If I see that button, it's a very similar color to that screen at that angle as it is to that. It's not a good start, but at the same time, I'm not going to worry too much right away. Um, yeah, sort of the minty coloured power button. The pinhole camera, front facing camera. Um, let's have a look at some of the... Oh, let's show that to the UK. Skip that, we shall connect to Wi-Fi. Um, so, that's the unboxing element done. What I will actually do as normal, I'm gonna go away, install a few bits and pieces. It's Sunday night, it is literally just turned 6 p.m. so the NFL is just starting, I'm gonna go and watch that. I'm technically, I'm a Washington fan, but I kind of 
Jackson's my uh, fantasy QB, so I'm going to cheer them on as well. All irrelevant, sorry. So I'm going to be watching that. I'll be getting the phone set up. I'll probably use the phone a little bit in the morning and then give you just a first impression on a few hours' use at that point. Um, so but by the magic of editing, I'll be back in a moment. So there we go. I'm back. I told you, it wouldn't be a second. Um, it's now just gone midday. I've been using the 4A this morning. Been jogged to the gym, worked out, took a few pictures, a few bits of video. So it'll be um, reasonably well informed kind of first look because I've been using it for a couple of hours. First thing, I really like the wallpaper. You get some live wallpapers. This one's New York. You can get San Francisco. Strangely, it sort of it it was light when I first installed it, and it's gone dark. I thought because it was overnight, but it's light outside again. I thought it would be light again, but never mind. That's fine. Um, so let's take a look. And to be fair, I haven't actually looked at things like a YouTube video, so. So I think that looks really, really good. I know uh, earlier in the video I was a bit concerned by the coldness um, of the, or the white balance really, of the screen. I'm not now actually having used it for a few hours. Um, the screen looks pretty fantastic, I would say. Let's now try testing the uh, speakers. <laughs> So I'm not sure about the speakers. I mean, I have listened to some podcasts last night. I had it playing podcasts. Sounds fine, no problems. I mean, listening to music, I would never really recommend listening to music from your phone speaker. So maybe we shouldn't worry too much about that. Um, I did run Geekbench. It's got 14.98, which that's the lower end of things. I'm not gonna lie. It's down there with the budget. So I've, I'm just gonna be doing the review of the Poco X3 NFC in the next couple of days. And it's in the region of that, the Mi Note 10. It's a bit behind the OnePlus Nord. But my experience so far is it's nice and smooth. I wouldn't worry about it. I th I th I'm, part of me even thinks, should I not bother mentioning Geekbench scores? I mean, I should, because I think it does help. It does give you a bit of a yardstick. But at the same time, the more important thing is just how fluid the operating system is. And it's really very fluid from my experience thus far. Uh, if we move on to the camera, obviously it's a very stock experience. Um, as I say, I took a few pictures and a few bits of video when I was at the gym or after the gym. Looks really good, as you would expect. Um, nice, clear, sharp. Especially, I took one photo facing into the sun, which on the viewfinder, on the screen as I took it, it looked like it shadowed out all the buildings and it's a really bright sky. But Google being Google, they've done all that process work as it takes the photo and it looks really good. It's not an easy photo to take. Video looked good, seemed nice and smooth. Again, strong colors. Um, no issues. I did test the front-facing camera, and uh, here's a little clip where I'll talk to the camera a little bit as well, so you can hear that. Oh, just done my 4K to the gym. New record time. 23, 22. I did wonder if it didn't look quite as good as I might have hoped, the video from the front-facing. Um, tried a portrait photo, seemed okay. If I'm honest, I've not investigated, I've not pixel peeped that just yet, to be fair, but uh, I need to leave some things for the for the main review. Um, I realize I've not actually been through the hardware. I'm jumping around a little bit, so let's come back now to the specs. It's 130, 143 grams, 8.2 millimeters thick. It's got the rear mounted fingerprint sensor, which so far, he says, seems fairly reliable. It's such low profile though, it's really quite subtle that I'm finding it a little bit hard to locate it sometimes. Stereo speakers we just heard, 3.5 mil jack on the uh, the top there, for those that need that. It's got a Qualcomm Snapdragon 730G, which is eight nanometer, um, octa-core processor, Adreno 618 GPU, 128 gig of storage, six gig of RAM, and the UFS 2.1 file system. The screen itself, 5.81 inches, um, it's an 83.3 screen to body ratio because of that pinhole camera at the top, reasonably small bezels. It's an OLED screen, 2340 by 1080, 
uh, 19 and a half by nine ratio. It's about 443 pixels per inch, and I think it does look very nice, actually. Like I said, at one point I was concerned about the whites, but no, I think it's fine. Um, Gorilla Glass 3, and it does have an always-on display. For me, that's kind of essential these days, and it is HDR. So again, I went through the photos. The one lens at the back is 12.2 megapixels f1.7 uh, with phase detection, autofocus, and optical image stabilization. Um, just 4K 30 frames per second. The front facing is 8 megapixel f2.0 24 mil wide angle, does 1080p at 30 frames per second. Obviously, it's running Android 11. The battery, um, oh, did I note down the battery? Yes, I did. Theta 100, well, 3140 non removable LiPo battery, does fast charging at 18, 18 watts and uses USB power delivery 2 to charge. Very early stats from AccuBattery four and a half hour screen on time, 19 hours combined with just general use. But when I go to the gym, that's quite intensive. I'm listening to music. I've got a lot of time the screen stays on while I'm doing reps and I'm tapping to record. Um, then I took photos and videos and they've been uploading and syncing. So it's been the hardest I would have a phone work would be what I've done this morning. So it might be unfair to judge off that. Obviously for the main review, we'll have more of a prolonged, I'll be using this device now for the next week or so as my main device. I mean, there's a possibility it even replaces my Pixel 4 as my main device. I don't know, we'll see. It seems very nice, seems very slick and, slick and fluid. Um, but that's it really for the uh, unboxing and first look. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. If you have any questions for me to address in the main review, uh, drop them down there. If you're not a subscriber, please make sure you do subscribe. Also, I know they all say, hit that thumbs up button. It does help, it helps me. So if I've helped you, you know, do that little thing and, and click the thumbs up for me. Um, but uh, for now, my name's Andy, and I'll catch you all again soon.